most of the studies that have been done would indicate that without a significant amount of power generation from biomass, we will fail to meet our carbon reduction targets. We're looking at eking out a bit more life on coal stations that have been put up. They might be 40, 50 years old. So you've got various components, notably the mills, the burners. The properties of biomass are very different from that of coal and therefore we need to amend the equipment or potentially replace the equipment in order to make it work with the other fuel. And then we've got other components which theoretically wouldn't be affected by the conversion, such as the turbines, which need to be checked, be possibly modified to allow their life to be extended in conjunction with the rest of the plant. What we bring to the table on this is a combination of the practical skills, the really high level theoretical knowledge of how burners work, how combustion occurs in a boiler, what the impact on the high temperature pressure parts is, and then also taking in the skills on the project developments. So whilst we have the underlying skills, every time we do one of these projects, we learn a bit more of the specialist knowledge that only comes with actually delivering a project using a particular technology. And that obviously equips us to support the next project using that technology. In terms of getting involved in these projects and why clients come to Atkins, uh, to be honest, it's, it's all about the people and it's all about relationships. So what we are trying to do is build on relationships with our key clients such that we get involved early in the planning process, that we help them work out whether they've got a project, work out their options and then walk with them throughout the life cycle of that project as helping them through, get their funding sanction in place and then help them with the delivery of it. And it's the skills and reputation that we've got in the marketplace that will win us the future work.